Hello and servus again from Munich. It's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. But no wonder I literally live in a greenhouse with all that glass in here. But, oh well. I have a little USB fan for that. So the poor little bear Lara here in the background um, doesn't get cooked. So, just a quick update. My Dendrobium Rhodostictum, which I bought on the 22nd of April, and it's still hanging on and showing no signs of going over. I'll let you do the map, but it's quite a long lasting Dendrobium. So, Roger, you can look forward to yours being in bloom for a long time, I guess. My Cedaria japonica. This one is still hanging on. The other one actually is already going over, which is a shame. Uh, but I have this one and the fragrance. It's as heavenly as I previously mentioned, and I'm still hooting about it, and I'm still getting high on it. Uh, my white fell. Still in bloom. Pushing out roots, growing a new leaf. My other phalaenopsis growing a third flower spike. My Cygnodis wine light growing at the rate of knots as we know it from Catacetums. Pretty new growth in there. Good root development, so I'm pleased for that. Uh, one loss. My Perfupedrum delinati lost one of its blooms, but the other one is still looking quite good. I would be very, very sad if, if the second bloom is also gone, because I love them. They are so, 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 so pretty. The Perfupedrum mordiae vinicolor. I looked around in the media and found two fat new roots growing, which is good because with path they are very they are lazy when it comes to root growth. My Oncidium Sotuanum. Summer will be tough on it I guess because it doesn't like the heat too much. It can take it but it doesn't like it. Let's put it that. But it's growing on nicely. The this new growth which obviously isn't mature, it's growing this new growth and there's another new growth starting in there. Very vigorous little thing. My Perfume Pelum Pinocchio, it's growing its spike and it's growing four new growth. Four. I think this is a division, but yeah, uh, two growth to each side and to both sides, I don't know. If all of them are mature, that will be quite a good development from one growth to five growth. But yeah, have you paid on Pinocchio is a foolproof beginner path, so I won't get cocky about that. And the second spike of my catacetum seems ready to pop at any moment. I actually quite like the look of the spike. And I hope that um, this time the petals and sepals of the blooms don't go um, as much backwards as the ones on the first spike, which is constantly drying up back there at the rate of knots. It's incredible how fast um, the spike dies. So the spike itself. The blooms um, lasted about two weeks. So yeah. And this thing, let's see if I can show you. I don't know if um, you can see it, but I strongly believe that there are two new growths starting in there. So, with two new growths that hopefully grow as fat and big as this bulb, I will have quite a pot full of nice green stems. So, yeah, got lucky with that cross. Got a very, very vigorous specimen there. And a very f and a very florif florif I don't even try. You know what I mean. Um, thingy one. <laughs> so yeah. 
and uh, temperatures dropping. Thank God I'm already sweating in here. And to end this, uh, try not to show you my messy kitchen. I'm sorry. This Traduscansia pallida really is a weed. Unfortunately, the blooms have gone over. And yeah, this, this is. If you want to cover up uh, a wall or something, just take a cutting of this, put it in a pot, and in two to three months' time, the wall is covered. It's it's insane. So yeah. And oh yeah, this is my red clock Yara after dark SVO black pearl. Just going mad with roots. You can see at the bottom of the pot there quite a bit of roots emerging, which is good. The bulb is going growing taller and thicker. Just wants to leave its head on. <laughs> okay, that was that was lame, sorry. But yeah, I'm really pleased with that because I was a bit worried in the beginning because it was just what I imagine happened when they potted this plant is that they had a huge block of this fibery stuff with I don't know how many plants in it and just cut it to pieces and cut roots off and everything. But it recovered swimmingly and if I'm very lucky maybe next year I will get a first blooming maybe the year after that but I don't care I can wait with that with that lovely blooms that this will produce I'm willing to wait so maybe the last time we'll see that for this year let's end on that and I have a very nice weekend, happy growing, and maybe see you next time. Bye bye.